Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video presentation where I am going to discuss to all of you about experimental research and experimental designs in social sciences and in the field of education. I hope my presentation shall be helpful to all of you and will help the viewers to understand each and every aspect of what is experimental research and what are experimental designs. So keep watching. Okay friends, in order to understand this topic clearly, my presentation has been divided into three different videos. I found it is good to divide the full presentation in three videos to make it easier to understand, to make it uh, smooth, to make it more comprehensible. The first video shall explain the concept of experimentation in social sciences or in the field of education. The second video will be about threats to experimentation and third will be on different designs in experimental researches. To understand this topic clearly, I shall advise the viewers to watch all these three videos carefully and properly. It shall definitely help them to understand the topic in complete. It shall also help them to remove the misconception in the field of experimental research. Okay, in this present video, I will be discussing the basic concept of experimentation and experimental designs. While explaining the concept of experimental research in the field of social sciences, we need to discuss different aspects of it. So we need to understand the basic meaning of experimental research and develop a clear understanding on it, as well as we have to understand the characteristics or nature of experimental research in the field of social sciences. Further, we need to understand different key terms related to experimental research or experimental designs like independent variables, dependent variables, confounding variables, extraneous variable, intervening variables, etc. There is also the need to understand different other re related terms in the field of experimental research like manipulation, control, randomization, treatment. So let us understand it in the further videos, we will try to understand each of them one by one. Let us first get the concept of experimental research. So as we can see that in experimental research, the researcher manipulates at least one independent variable or introduces one independent variables while controlling other relevant variables and observes the effect on one or more dependent variables. Let us take an example. Suppose we want to study the effect of activity-based learning on the achievement of the elementary class students. Suppose class 8. Hence, we need to use or the researcher has to manipulate or make use of activity-based learning on the elementary school students under certain condition or we can say control conditions like duration of the class 35 to 40 minutes as it is in regular class. Also suppose we want to compare the effectiveness in relation to the control group where we are giving them regular traditional lecture based classes. And then the control conditions will mean the topics of science dealt in both the experimental and other group has to be same. Thus, while using the independent variable, in this case, activity-based learning, we see if the student's achievement in science, that is the dependent variable, changes significantly or not in comparison to the student studying through traditional method. I hope now you are in, able to understand what we mean by experimental research in social sciences and particularly in education. Although it is quite an ambiguous idea when we talk about experimentation outside the laboratory setting, yet experimental design is often taken within social science as the embodiment of the scientific method and if the social sciences are to reach the maturity of natural sciences, 
social research should seek to emulate this approach or paradigm. Simply, if you want to make research in social sciences or education scientific and objective oriented, we need to try and use more and more of experimental research whenever it is possible. This whole idea, which I explained earlier about studying the effect of activity-based method of learning on achievement in social sciences or in science of elementary students can be also seen in this pro diagram or particular picture. Here one group is exposed to activity-based learning and the other group is exposed to traditional classes. So after the ex experimental exposure is complete or after all when we are completing the activity-based lessons in experimental group, we can have the post-test and the post-test results can be compared to study the effectiveness of activity-based learning in comparison to the traditional approach. And then we can establish the causal relationship between the activity-based learning and the achievement in science. Now we will try to learn and understand different key terms related to experimental research so that we can be in better position to understand experimental research. We will be trying to understand different types of variables which are involved in experimental research like independent variable, dependent variables, extraneous variable, confounding variables, moderating as well as intervening variables. It also has to be understood clearly that basically we need to understand the two main variables that is independent and dependent variables so that we will be in better condition to understand the concept of experimental research. Let us first see what is independent variable. The independent variable also called the treatment causal or experimental variable is that treatment or characteristics believed to make a difference in any experimental study. We can take examples of independent variables as methods of instruction, type of reinforcement, arrangement of learning environment, type of learning materials, and length of treatment, etc. Thus, we, as we take the example of what we have discussed earlier, activity-based method of teaching or instruction can be an example of independent variable. It has to be understood that it is the characteristic feature of an experimental research that we are able to manipulate or can change the independent variable on our own ease so as to see its effect on one or more dependent variables. In the studies where we are not in the condition to change ma or manipulate or vary at least one of the variable during the study period or duration, then we are not in position of conducting an experimental study. In fact, it can be any other study design such as ex post facto study, correlational study, or any qualitative study. Now let us see the meaning of dependent variable. Dependent variable, also called the criterion, effect, or post-test variable, is the outcome of the study. The change or difference in groups that occurs as a result of independent variable Thus, we can say that these variables are those variables within which changes are minutely observed. Also, the interpretations are made that the changes have been produced due to the independent variables. In our examples, we can say that the achievement in science can be a dependent variable. Thus, there we are trying to interpret the changes in the achievement as a score or dependent variable have been the result of the activity-based method which is the independent variable or not. Other examples of dependent variables may be students' attendance, number of suspensions, time taken on a task, student interest, etc. So many a times when we talk about experimental research, we talk about control. And control is an important aspect of experimental research. So what are they actually? See, when we try to study the effect of independent variable on the dependent variables, we need to make sure while interpreting the findings that all the changes produced in the independent variable is due to independent variable. We need to control many other factors or confounding factors so as to make this sure that all the changes produced in the dependent variable is due to 
independent variable. Thus, in terms we are talking about internal validity of our study, internal validity of experimental research or any research. We will talk about that in some other part of the video. We can very well understand that during a natural science research in laboratories, we used to control many factors like temperature, pressure, etc. So that whatever our research findings are, they are valid. Similarly, in the case of research in social sciences, we need to take care of many things like room size, time of teaching, content of teaching, lighting facility, etc. So that our research findings are valid. We can understand that suppose while conducting activity classes in the experimental group, we are allowed to take only the last period. Whereas in regular classes in the control group were taken in first period. It is quite obvious there will be some undesirable effect due to this change of timing of classes. Hence, either we need to take the experimental classes in the first period or the regular classes in the other group has to be also taken in the second half of the school. So, I hope you have understood what is the meaning of control. We need to control the conditions which are undesirable so that whatever interpretations we are making related to independent variables relationship with the dependent variable is valid one. You can see the photo diagram which is showing the importance of control in any experimental study. We can see that the experimental group is feeling sorry to have classes of science in the last period whereas the control group or the other group is getting the traditional treatment or regular classes in the first period and are happy to attend the science classes. Seriously, this shall negatively influence the study findings and thus need to be addressed carefully or controlled carefully. Now, there are some more categories of variables that we need to understand when we are trying to determine the success of any experimental study. The first among these are known as extraneous variable. Any variable other than independent and dependent variable is an extraneous variable. Example, interest of the child, participant variables like gender and age, location of the schools, time of the year, etc. These variables may or may not influence the findings of the study. It all depends upon the variables under investigation, the composition of group, etc. That if it is going to influence the study in any other way or not. You will understand it when we conduct an experimental investigation. In our study, suppose the group receiving the experimental treatment that is activity based learning, they are having classes in ground floor, whereas the control group, they are getting classes located in the first floor or in the second floor. The location of the classes does not matter a lot here. But if there is one group, there is only the girls participants are there and in the other groups, only the boys participants are there, then definitely gender has some influence on the study findings. So, it needs to be controlled. We have to see what we can do about this particular variable that is gender. We will be able to decide about them only when we are knowing about the nature of the experiment, the design of the experiment and the variables which are under investigation. So once we understand this, then we are able to control them and conduct our experiment in proper way. Okay, friends. Now, while understanding the variables involved in experimental research, there is a very important category of variables known as confounding variables. It can be defined as specific type of extraneous variable which causes interference in the effect created by independent variable on dependent variable and thus confounding the results of the experiment. These variables may be anything like interest of the child, learning styles, learning resources or environmental variables like temperature, noise level, etc. 
As we can see that these variables are bound to create effect on the study and the researcher need to take care of these variables while conducting the experiments. Appropriate measures need to be taken up so as to control these variables. As for our previous example, interest of child for science is indeed a confounding variable and has to be taken care of while conducting the research and interpreting the findings. Further, let us know about intervening or mediating variables. A variable that explains a relation or provides a causal link between other variables also called by some authors mediating variables or intermediary variables. Let us take an example. The statistical association between income and longevity needs to be explained because just having money does not make one live longer. Other variables intervene between money and a long life. People with high incomes tend to have better medical care and those with low incomes are not having such type of medical care. Thus, medical care is an intervening variable. It mediates the relation between income and longevity. So, medical care need to be explained while we explain the relationship between income and the long life of a particular person. Dear friends, another category of variables are named as moderating variables. A variable that influences or moderates the relation between two other variables and thus produces an interaction effect. It may increase or decrease the effect of independent variable on the dependent variable. Let us take the example from the same problem as we have been discussing. That is studying the effect of activity-based learning on students' achievement. It is always true that if there are enthusiastic children who are very much interested for science classes, it is very much sure that their achievement level may increase. And if the group consists of dull, non-interested child, their achievement level tend to be lower. Similarly, if the investigator or the teacher possesses very high teaching effectiveness, then too it is true that the students will achieve higher. So, this type of moderating variables needs to be studied in relation to studying the effect of independent variable on the dependent variable. We will now see certain set of terms which are directly related with the experimentation. These terms are like manipulation, control, control group, experimental group, randomization and treatment. Let us first see what is manipulation. Manipulation and treatment are close term associated with experimentation. Experimental manipulation describes the process by which researchers purposefully change, alter or influence the independent variables, which are also called treatment variables or the factors. Whereas in an experimental research, treatment is something that is administered to experimental group. In our example, activity-based method and taking the activity-based classes lessons in different order or scheme etc. can be termed as manipulation. Thus, where treatment is noun, manipulation is a verb. We can thus recall that independent variable is also called as manipulative variable. Control is another key term related to experimental research. As we have already discussed, control variables. You can easily understand what is control variables. Control refers to the researcher's efforts to remove the influence of any variable other than the independent variable that may affect the study findings or while interpreting the results of effect of independent variable on dependent variable. We may create some misinterpretation and thus control is required. So in our example, if you are fixing the time duration for taking each period, either in the experimental group or in the control group for 35 minutes or for 40 minutes, then it is one type of control. Look this photo diagram. You will easily understand what is manipulation or treatment and what is control. Here manipulation is taking ABL or activity based classes and control is making sure that both the groups that is experimental group class through ABL approach and control group 
or other group class through traditional method both are of 40 minutes duration let us now see a very important key terms which is very primary key term in terms of experimental research and without which we cannot imagine an experimental research that is experimental group the experimental group or the experimental condition refers to the group of participants who are exposed to the independent variable these participants receive or are exposed to the treatment variable although you must have already guessed in our example the group receiving classes based on activity based lessons are the experimental group participants next for the success of any experimental research and also to increase the replicability of the study and for increasing the validity of the findings it is needed to have one or more groups for the triangulations of the findings on the effectiveness of the independent variable on dependent variable or for establishing the causal relationship between independent and dependent variables these group or groups can be termed as control groups a control group is the group in a study that does not include the things being tested and is used as a benchmark to measure the results of the other group as we have already discussed as per our example the group rece receiving the traditional classes or the regular classes are or is the control group another key term which is very much frequent in any experimental research or experimentation is the idea of randomization randomization in an experiment is where you choose your experimental participants randomly if you use randomization in your experiments you guard against any type of biasness while assigning and selecting members in two or more groups we have to be very much sure that the participants are being assigned to the experimental or in the control groups are selected randomly so that we can say that all the groups or both the groups were equivalent before the experiment actually begins and thus in a way we are trying to increase the validity the internal internal and ex external validity of their research findings so in this video we have watched the very basic concept or idea behind experimental research we also look into different key terms related to experimental study specifically the different key terms related to experimental research that is independent variables and dependent variables manipulation etc i hope this video must have clarified you about the basic concept of experimental research we look forward to you to watch the all other two videos in this particular segment to understand the overall idea about experimental research and experimental designs so if you have liked this video please press to the like button and also subscribe to this channel thanks for watching